Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 23rd. Uh, this week, if y'all want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Aquarius, uh, let's see what we have going on for you uh, this week of the 23rd. And Aquarius... It uh, looks really good for money so far, so i definitely like to see that. Love could be a challenge for sure, but let's keep going. Uh, your overall energy, Ten of Swords, definitely comes up here, by the way. Uh, you're needing to move on from something. Even in your solution position, you have the Ten of Spades, basically the same card. I read playing cards and uh, tarot very differently. Uh, you can read them the same way. Uh, I do not. To me, the playing cards have different meanings than tarot, so I read them differently. Uh, but um, what I would say is that the Ten of Spades and the Ten of Swords are very similar. Tennis, Tennis Sword says it's time to get up. It's time to move on from something from the past. It says something is dead, done, over with. So if you're finding yourself stuck to an old job, an old relationship, whatever, this card says it's time for a change. Uh, in your solution position here, in this reading, again, you have the Ten of Spades. We're going to talk about it. It's the same exact thing. Uh, Ten of Spades in the playing cards is called the ship or the like the boat, like a boat on the ocean. It just represents going from one thing to another. So I think uh, a change will lead to all your pro uh, a solution to all your problems. Uh, you start with the ace of diamonds really good card for money so i definitely feel like there could be an increase in your finances with this card you have the four diamonds as well really good money cards ace of diamonds could also just say that if you're looking for a job or if you're looking for more money there could be a job or more money coming in for you with the ace of diamonds uh, next you have the four diamonds four diamonds is a card of newness and it does represent new jobs new opportunities coming in for you so i feel like there could be new jobs or something new coming in with this card i also feel for some of you the four diamonds could represent a, a move um the ten of spades can also be a card of move moving as well. Again, it's called the boat. Like So again, moving from one place to another. So I feel like some of you could be moving with these cards or finding a new location to live. For others, this could just represent a new job. On top of all that, the Four of Diamonds is a card of patience for your soulmate. So it does say if you're looking for love, for example, that someone's coming in, but it might take a little bit of time. Uh, next, you have the Ace Eight of Spades here. Eight of Spades represents like needing a, va a vacation, needing a break. So some of you might need a break, and I would say take one if you need it, obviously, with the Eight of Spades. Um, eight of Spades could also say there are other solutions to problems that you're experiencing this week. So Eight of Spades says stay open to other opportunities to fix your problems no matter what they are. It just says there could be other solutions to things that you're dealing with that you're not being open to. So it just says open up to other solutions to your problems. Uh, in your challenge position, you have the lovers and the seven of clubs. The lovers, it could say that um, you're having, you know, to me, the lovers comes up, it says, pick new love. So if you've gone through a breakup, the lover says it very simply, pick the new path, pick new love in your life. Seven of clubs just says that you could be experiencing problems communicating in love so this could be like no communication very little communication or not enough communication with someone in a, a past relationship or even in your current relationship and again your answer your solution is very simple ten of swords ten of spades move on it's time to move on for others this could say that you're not getting it you're seeing too little progress in other areas of your life so again if you're not interested in love this could say you're seeing too little progress at work or you're seeing too little progress in business and again your solution is very simple ten of spades here and four of hearts something new so two fours so again, if you're seeing too little um, growth or expansion at work, maybe it's time to find a new job, or maybe it's time to ask for a raise or a promotion. I keep telling people, Saturn and Capricorn, we need to be the ones to ask for a raise. We need to be the one to ask for a promotion. We're probably not going to just get a raise or a promotion. We're going to have to ask for it. We're going to have to go and get it. We have to take what is ours with Saturn and Capricorn. So again, if you're not seeing growth or a promotion, maybe you need to do that. Maybe you need to raise your prices in business. Maybe you need to change your business. Maybe you need to change other beliefs that you have. So these are cards of like moving on. Two very good cards, by the way, in the solution position, but definitely cards of a change. And finally, your outcome is the Jack of Hearts and the Eight of Clubs. You have two eights here as well. The eights can definitely represent confusion. Eights just say there are other ways of doing things. So I feel like you need to tap into your Aquarius kind of like innovative, um, you know, superpowers basically to come up with new ways of doing things, especially where you are experiencing challenges. Jack hearts could be new love coming in. So again, if you're looking for love, there definitely could be love coming in here with the jack hearts. I do feel like for some of you, maybe you are needing to move for love or maybe you're needing to travel for love. Two fours, traveling, moving. And um, this right here, confusion about how, how you're going to get together with somebody. Um, so again, Again, some of you could be experiencing challenges with that. Um, really, the two fours say commit. Um, 
So the two fours say that if you're like in something long distance or if you're in something that requires travel or something like that, the two fours just say you need to commit on a very, if you want it to work out and you need to come up with a plan. Fours are cards of planning. So they just say like there needs to be a plan on how something is going to work out. Same thing, like if you're getting a job at a d distance or anything like that, it just says commit to a plan and you will be successful. It's like you're making it too complicated here with the eight of clubs. So I'd say don't do that. Um, but for others, again, if you're not interested in love, um, these cards could just represent like accepting a new offer for work or business but uh, overall very positive week for you Aquarius so thank you for watching and enjoy your week